Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Steve Potter with you again, here to talk more about creating selection outlines in Adobe Photoshop CS4. And as you remember from our last lesson, we used the pen tool to create a vector-based path around that Toyota Prius and then we converted that path into a selection outline and the pen tool as I explained in the previous lesson is my favorite way to create selection outlines in Adobe Photoshop there are other ways to work namely the automatic selection tools and today we're going to talk about one of those tools the quick selection tool right here folks all right, if you want to follow along, go ahead and download jeepstart.psd from our website, and you can work right along with me here. Now, the quick selection tool works based on contrast. And what I mean by that is when I click and drag, what Photoshop is doing is drawing a selection outline based on differences in luminance values of adjoining pixels, okay? When I click and drag, Photoshop is going out and looking for the luminance values to cross a certain threshold and at that threshold it goes ahead and draws a selection outline. So naturally with that said it works best on high contrast images. Okay, This is not a high contrast image and I chose it for a reason. It's going to challenge us. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the histogram and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to hit shift tab to bring the histogram in and this histogram is not showing me the entire image and that's because I have a selection going on right now so I'm gonna hit control D on my keyboard and now we're looking at the entire image histogram and you can see there's a lot of midtones going on some shadows not much highlights so this is not a very high contrast image folks I'm gonna hit shift tab get rid of my palettes again so we're going to be challenged a little bit trying to make a selection outline in this low contrast image. So we're going to concentrate on the mechanics of this tool. All right. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Go ahead and click inside the area you want to select. And obviously we're going to try and select this Jeep and isolate it from the background. All right. So now that I've told Photoshop what I want to select, before I go ahead and select the rest of what I want to select, I'm going to train the tool on what I don't want to select. And to do that, move the brush outside of the area you want to select, hold, press and hold the Alt key, and then click and drag around the outside of the area that you want to select. Okay, we're telling Photoshop what we don't want. Okay, there. Now that's going to make our job of selecting the Jeep much easier. Next thing you want to do is come up here and make sure Auto Enhance is selected. All right, and then come in here and continue painting. And the Quick Selection tool works best with a small brush size. I'm going to go ahead and lower my brush size by hitting the left bracket key a couple of times. All right, let me continue here. Just painting, painting where we want to select. It's finding those differences in contrast and drawing a selection outline based on it. Okay, and there's our rough selection right there, folks. Now what we want to do is zoom in, take a closer look, and refine our selection. All right? To zoom in, I'm going to hold the control key and the space bar simultaneously. That gives me the zoom tool going to marquee around an area I want to zoom into and release and there you go all right you can see it missed some of the Jeep right here let me make my brush smaller left bracket okay and then just go ahead and paint along that edge and you can see it's doing a pretty good job of selecting the areas that it missed Now let me show you a pretty good trick, folks. At any time you're working, you can switch between the manual selection tools and the, in this case, quick selection tool. And what I want to do is I want to get rid of this right in here. And the best way to do that is to switch to the polygonal lasso tool. 
okay, which is right under here. You see it right there. Now I've got the polygonal lasso tool. I want to deselect this area in here. So starting from outside of the selection, hold down the Alt key. You get the little minus symbol next to the tool. Click once to lay down your first point. Then you can release the Alt key. Okay, and then click, click, click the area you want to deselect. Close the path right here, and there you go. All right? Easy way to work. And switching back and forth between the two tools is very easy using the keyboard shortcut L to get the lasso tool and W to get the quick selection tool. All right. Let's see. Hold down the Alt key to try and deselect that right there. Good. Um, hold down the Alt key and try and get rid of this little bit of dirt that it selected. Good. All right. Let's follow. Did a pretty good job in here. It's a nice selection outline, considering. Okay, right here it gets a little fuzzy. I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, lasso tool by hitting the L key and holding down the Alt key, getting the minus, clicking once, closing it, and there you go. I want to deselect here, so same procedure. Hold down the Alt key. Now I want to do select here. I'm, being, I'm nitpicking here, folks. I just want to demonstrate this. Still, with the lasso tool selected, hold down the shift key. Okay, now I'm going to add to the selection. Come out to here. Just add it a little bit. I know. I know. Now I want to add to the selection right here. Again, with the lasso tool, hold down the shift key to add to the selection. Click. 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 There we go. Same thing right here. Hold down the shift key, click, 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 and there you go. Right here, hit the W. Let's get the quick selection tool again. Let's see if it's smart enough to get rid of that. Hold down the Alt key. Yeah. Yeah, good enough. That's not a real good uh, edge right there. I'd, I'd use something to... Uh, Clean it up for demonstration purposes. I think we're in the ballpark. Let me zoom out. Hitting Control minus on my keyboard a couple of times. Make sure there's no areas that I missed, which is easy to do. Easy to do. Like these rims here, that would be easy to miss if it didn't select it. Okay, that looks good. Now what I would do normally is come up here to the Refine um, Edge dialog box and I would refine that selection but I'm saving that for a later lesson so for this purposes for our purposes today folks this lesson is done there you go now you can do anything with this selection but I always save a selection when I'm done working on it I go select save selection and I name it I'm gonna name it Jeep and just save that for future use. You can see now I'm going to bring my palettes back by hitting Shift Tab. If you go to your channels palette now, you'll see there's an alpha channel of that selection that I just saved. Okay, until next time, folks, nice working with you.